My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. 57 Chevy Bel Air right here. It was body off frame restored, had a lot of custom upgrades. Got a 327 vintage air conditioning system, power windows, all sorts of goodies. If you go to volocars.com, you can read all the specs. You can even study over 100 pictures and you can get the price. Not only for this car, but we have a few hundred collector cars. They're all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, join me for a spin in this Bel Air. And yes, it is a true Bel Air. The VIN number starts with VC. That's the designation for an eight cylinder Bel Air car. Uh, it was off the frame, like I said. Doesn't mean it's some $100,000 uh, know, trailered show car, but the body was off the frame. There's all new body bushings. The frame is clean and smooth, and the floors look really good too. The floors, the braces, the rockers, uh, all of that looked really good to me. So solid car. Uh, they did add sway bars front and back are new. You look up at the motor, it's clean. The starter looks clean. Uh, it has a turbo 350 automatic. That looks clean. Uh, some miscellaneous front end parts uh, were redone. I think I seen the rubber boots over the ball joints look new and the shocks look new. Uh, it's got new shocks in the back. Uh, Dual exhaust all the way back. <laughs> There's no mufflers. It's just straight pipes all the way back, and it's really not that loud. I drove this car home last night and drove it into work this morning, and uh, I thought nothing of it. You'll hear it. It's a raspy sound, but it was not obnoxious, in my opinion. Uh, they did put disc brakes up front. It looked like the original e-brake system. Looks like it's hooked up. It has a custom stainless steel uh, fuel tank back there with custom straps holding it in place. Uh, so underneath is real respectable. Body has some nice upgrades. I don't know if you even noticed, but there's no door handles. You got a popper on the uh, keychain to get in, and the vent windows were removed too. So it's one big window. The spears were removed and filled. Emblem was uh, removed and filled. Has the Bel Air trim on the side. All the trim on the car is very nice. Like the mirrors look new. This has probably been replaced. It's all shiny and straight. The rubber gasket's soft. The windshield looks new. Of course, this is new glass because there would be a vent window here. All four windows are power. Yeah, all this trim is really nice and shiny. So someone had it restored or replaced. Yeah, all this has been replaced. All real nice. The bumpers uh, here look real good. Might be LED tail lights. Kind of looks like it there. Has reverse lights. The rear bumper has some freckling. It's straight and shiny, but I'm not going to call it new. Uh, you'll notice that also the uh, lock is filled in. There's a cable underneath that you can pop and it opens it. I've already done that. Trunk is all carpeted. Got new weather strip. Now this is nice. I'm sure most of you know, but a few of you probably don't. That's where you put the gas. It's got a nice set. These are new uh, torque thrust wheels on here uh, with some nice tires. I did notice right here there's a bubble in the paint, but this thing is straight. And overall, you walk up to it, it is straight. It's like a mirror reflection, really clean, nice body. Yeah, this trim is all nice on this side as well. Up front here, the bumper, yeah, it's not new, but it's all real nice. This bar looks like it's new. There is a chip in the paint right here. It's been touched up. So it's a 327 motor. I think it was from the late 60s, 68. Uh, aluminum intake, Edelbrecht carb, chrome alternator. A uh, new heat and air conditioning system, it works great. It's cold out here. Last night, I had that thing cranked up and uh, just blowing hot air on me. So got a good heater. Uh, it's got long tube headers, some vintage Mickey Thompson uh, finned aluminum valve covers, nice finned aluminum air cleaner, has an Excel uh, distributor. 
Got power steering hiding down there. I don't have the remote on me to open the door. <laughs> there is a button in the engine compartment, or actually a cable. If you ever locked yourself out, there is a cable in there. You open the hood and you get yourself in. All four power windows work. They actually work pretty quickly. Has a tilt column with the really nice deluxe steering wheel. Has all digital gauges, which were all working. Uh, I drove it in the dark last night. Turn signals, tail lights all work. Once in a while, uh, turn signal didn't cancel, but it, it's, it's right here. You can easily uh, take care of the turn signals. It's a custom dash where the radio and heater controls, where all that would be, it's all filled in with metal. It's painted, so the ignition is underneath. The headlight switch is underneath. Uh, it does not have a stereo, and all the new heater controls and vents are down below, too. All the upholstery is done. It's a dark green pleated uh, door panels is matching upholstery on the seats, a cloth headliner and visors. The welting around the door opening is new. Carpet's been replaced. Uh, it has a new fan. Uh, the shroud looks like it's been replaced. I'm going to crawl back in here and open that door. Or I can just use the remote. Oh, that's, there we go. Sorry about that. Door jams are painted nice. Weather strip looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and start it for you. Blue digital gauges. Oil pressure is good even after it's warmed up. Power window. Got chrome horns, dual reservoir master cylinder, electric wiper motor, got a, a stainless steel braided dipstick for the transmission. Like I said, it does have a remote. I popped the door open. This side is clicking, but I don't hear it opening the door. So we'll look at that. And then if you buy the car, inside here is a cable. You can pull and open the door if you ever did lock the keys in the car. So visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car, what I seen looking at it, driving it last night. That's what I think of it. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask them. They'll help you with the car, the delivery, the financing, the paperwork. Visit them at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thanks for watching.